Welcome back, back to Out, Out of Controllers. Controllers. Okie dokie. We're back. Stop right there. Why did you make that sensual? It's Jesse and James. You, when they introduce themselves, they're usually like sensually talking. I mean... No. No? No. Are they cool, calm, collected at least? Yes. I don't know how to separate those two in my brain. That fossil is Team Rockets. I'll... We'll talk about that in a second. Surrender now and prepare to fight. Bless these two. I love them. They're so good. Uh, they won a fight they won against a Ash in the TV show that's happening currently. Like physically punch the child? No, 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 no. Like a Pokemon battle. Okay. They won a Pokemon battle. Okay. They've never done that. It's uh, been at least true. seven seasons <laughs> of Pokemon. I mean, that's And legit. they've never won a battle against Ash. Oh, they won a battle. I heard yeah. want to battle. No, no, no. They won a battle. They, like, okay. beat Ash in a Pokemon yes, battle. Yes, I have heard that. I'm so proud. <laughs> Um, <laughs> they, and immediately they started gloating about it, and then great. Because, like, after seven years of not being able to beat this fucking child, of course you're going to gloat. It's true. Um, I certainly would. Meowth, that's right. I don't think I've ever beat another human in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> you. Wait, no. I beat you once. Uh, after... I lost you. Yeah. So my first, every initial fight I've ever had with another human being has been I've lost. That's legit. Yeah. Because I'm not good at fighting human beings. No, you're not. Because it's like, God, you also have a, like, a well-balanced type of, yeah, like, really. type balanced team. And I don't I'm, know how to deal with this. And I'm much, I think I'm much better at going for type coverage than you are. Probably. I have, like, I do things where it's like, this is my fire type Pokemon. Also, I have a fire bird Pokemon, but I like the fire Pokemon, so... Yeah. And the fire bird is just for, like, being able to use fly. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but, so, okay. Uh, I wanted to, well, we'll finish off this fight, and then I'll talk about the fucking, your fucking... Terrible it's, idea, like ideas about voice. Well, that it's. I don't think it's just use the thing. Okay. A brat beat us. Same. Slaps. Four twenty, pokey dollars. Yeah. Team Rocket's blasting off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Anyway. That's not. Ever I know. How it goes. No, that's exactly how it goes. No. Yeah. We're blasting off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. And then it's we're blasting off again after they've lost. And then they, oh, it might they be. and then they dink oh, into the shit, distance. Might, I need to watch this goddamn that's, show again. That's that's how it goes. Don't I, I can't I, remember. I know what I'm talking about okay. here, buddy. Um, but so okay, I think that a lot of people who have been socialized as men mm -hmm. have a problem where they can't tell the different. Like they have a hard time differentiating um, sensual or not in voices of people who have been raised as women. Because you consistently think a woman, somebody who identifies as a woman is being flirty or kind of, I don't know, sensual or something. When I'm like, she's 100% not. I mean, I mean, I met both of them when I was a kid. I was like, James and Jesse are both sensual. Well, okay, they're also evil and thus automatically queer coded. Yes. So they're both campy, but I don't know that I'd call them sensual. When they're doing their introductions, that's how I read it. Ah, uh, all right. I mean like and I also can be very wrong about that because that's how I usually am. I, I mean, usually I tend to be very wrong about I that mean, kind of thing. You're not like you're not inherently wrong about it. No, I mean, I'm not, but that's like an assumption I make a lot of like that is an assumption shit. that we have documented evidence that I make a lot and I am usually not correct. I mean I don't know, but I just Personally, I think, and I would need something, like, research or something to back this up, but mm -hmm. I feel like that might be part of the reason that men consistently um, think that women are leading them on, and women are like, I 100% was not. Um, it might just be a thing that a lot of men can't really tell the difference there, because they're not... And it might be part of their socialization process that they're not really taught to distinguish between 
being flirty and just being nice. Or, you know, being confident and being sensual. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, because, like, and audience, if you have done that research, please, like, shoot us a yeah, link Yeah, please or let something. us know. Hopefully it's not behind a paywall. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, and I think a lot about, like, I can't remember specific things that I watched as a child that, like, geared me towards that. But I definitely feel like a lot of media that was targeted at me did that. Where it was like, this woman is being portrayed, like, is actually being portrayed sensually, mm -hmm. but like in instances where it doesn't make sense that she's doing that. Yeah, and like, and what I, inter and it turns blue, and what I internalize from that is um, not that she's being sensual, it's that he, he can't read a room. Like, he can't read what she's, like, or she's just badly written, or... Yeah, I think any other that. Any other explanation is what I come up with. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing. Amusing? Yeah. Oh, you're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? How droll. How droll. How droll. God. <laughs> um. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Me too. <laughs> I also just, want a bright red bike, and I don't want to ride just, anywhere. God. Grass and caves handled easily. Bike shop. And, uh... For those of you not All in the know, bikes. it's a bajillion, bajillion dollars. Hi, welcome to our bike shop. Have we got just the bike for you? I don't have that much money! It's a million polka dollars. Which no one has that Is much. one polka dollar more than you can hold. That's such a douche move. Oh, it's a fucking... Electrode yeah, yeah, yeah. orders. <laughs> Electrode Swift! No, that's wrong! <sighs> Training Pokemon is difficult. Your Pokemon's obedience depends on your abilities as a trainer. Ooh, Mark. It's your fault to... if they don't listen to you. I mean... They can't just be obstinate Pokemon. Um, oh, but we were, we were talking about voices. Yeah, and... And that certainly is a thing, I think, with, like, writing. Mm -hmm. Because it is, like... Oh yes, it's like his the male gaze, and it's like that's what's happening, and that like colors the scene that you're supposed to be watching. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm also like, I also now want to understand this better because I'm just like, crap. What is this thing in my brain that isn't getting it? So like, what is the difference between sensual and and confident that you hear? Uh. Well. I mean, I don't know that it's something I could explain, but from just kind of the standpoint of this video game, why the fuck would Jesse or James be hitting on me? I don't know if they're hitting on you. I think it's just like I don't. I also don't know if sensual means they're being flirtatious. With well, you. that's that's what that's what I mean when I say it is the thing. Okay. You're a trainer too. Collecting, fighting. It's a collecting, fighting. It's a tough life. Okay, that's not what I mean when I say sensual. Okay. I mean, like, like luxuriating kind of in the sound and like, like th there's something about the way they say these things mm -hmm. that is different than like, aha, child, like you're screwed. But yeah, like, it's it's queer coded. Yeah. Um, is just straight up what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so I think I don't know because now I'm thinking about like the way I use sensual and it's like actually I think I might be confident. So I might have been just using the wrong word. Well, I mean, but also the way you voiced Jesse and or James, it sounded like I was being hit on. Okay. Like, super evidently hit on. Um, and, mm. I don't know, that could just be me, but... That might be, but I, like, I feel like that's a thing that you would distinguish better between. Because I, I definitely have also messed up when people are being, like, hitting on. Um, you said that in a way I did not understand. <laughs> uh, like, I have mistaken people's, like, just talking tones for, like, flirtatious comments. Okay. Like, that's a thing I've done. Um, like, in the Bane Kaidos playthrough. I take care of injured Pokemon. I nurse this Bulbasaur back to health. It needs a good trainer. Oh, right! Right! I get the fucking Bulbasaur! You can! You can get the Bulbasaur. Would you yes. take care of this Bulbasaur? I want to take care of this Bulbasaur. Got it. Do you, you want to give a nickname? a nickname to the Bulbasaur and thus add it into the boy band? No. 
goodness. A giant. You're all excited for it. You a don't put giant, it in the party. A giant flower turtle is not going to the party. I'm sorry, kids. It's true. He's not the sensitive one. Uh, I just named them what I think they should be if they dish. were in the Pokemon. If they were in your boy band. That's a large sand shrew. Um, I mean, it's sitting in a chair, so. I mean. And you're a child, so. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, also just, I don't know, there's a lot of, I think there's, there is a lot of subtlety in conveying things with your tone. And yeah. part of it is just that, um, I was raised in a household full of actors, so I learned really early on, um, how to read tone more than a lot of people, I think. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's just part of it. Yeah, which is legit. That's why I also would trust you about like figuring that out than I than necessarily I would. I mean, fair. And so I'm just like, hmm, I don't know. Okay, see ya. Lorgoth. Lorgoth. Alright, that is it for this episode. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends, you know, whatever. Um, we really yeah. appreciate uh, that from you guys. Yeah, you so, spread the word. Yeah, exactly. Much appreciated. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and we will see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.